Hey guys, just a really quick off the cuff video today. Um, I just got this package. It contains a few watch related knickknacks. Well, I think it does at least. And a not at all watch related Christmas gift for somebody who I trust will not watch this video, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, and I just thought I'd open it and share as I, uh, I add to my collection of watch tools and watch accessories um, some sort of basic things that I should have had in the first place. Figured why not make a video. Um, turn it into some content for you guys since I only have so many watches that I can unbox and measure and talk about anyway. Um, we're at wristwatch check, I guess. I'm wearing my little Delta Super uh, 1960s French watch with the cushion case and that great blue dial. I still think that's just about the coolest watch $65 can buy. Um, anyway, let's get on with it. Um, I feel like I should say, as a literary person, uh, sort of an artistic and literary person, I do hate Amazon, and I try to avoid shopping from them, um, but I had a gift card, so I figured I might as well get some use out of it, and yes, that's right, I did buy a gift with a gift card, which is probably a little bit of a faux pas, but it makes life a little easier when you don't have to pay for everything. So, anyway, let's see what's inside. Uh, I think I know what this is. This is not watch related at all. I forgot that I've actually ordered this in the same package. This is a knife, um, like a kitchen knife, from a company that I really love. Um, it's the company is Mac, M-A-C, as you can see right there. Um, and their knives are they're Japanese steel, so the thin, really sharp, somewhat delicate steel, um, but made in slightly more traditional European shapes. Um, if any of you cook, you'll kind of understand what I'm saying. Um, you know, the Japanese chef's knives are, the Santoku knives are a little bit of a different shape. And if you're used to cooking with like Vustaf or brands like that, it can be I don't know, difficult to get used to. Um, and so I discovered this a few years back when I was first really getting into cooking. And my parents bought me a nice uh, 8 inch scallop chef's knife from this company. Um, and, you know, they're expensive. The chef's knife was like $170. Um, but there's great, great quality. Um, and that was, that's the only ni nice knife that I own. Uh, I own some reliable but unsexy uh, Victorinox knives for you know boning and uh, filleting and stuff like that. And I have this really crappy like entry level uh, Asian made Vustaf uh, paring knife. And so because I finally had a gift card, I thought I'd add to my collection, so to speak. Uh, they come in these great boxes with Japanese characters on them really nice presentation and then in a sheath to protect the knife during shipping um, they also come with advice and instructions and if you've never bought and used Japanese steel before you really really should read up on them before using them because you have to sharpen them and hone them slightly differently than the more traditional European steel you might be used to um, different angle um, and you're supposed to use a ceramic honing rod rather than a metal one. You shouldn't sharpen them on steel because they're too fine and too thin. And then removing it from the sheath and being very careful. This is a, a larger, a very long paring knife, almost long enough and big enough to be a utility knife rather than a paring knife um, that I wanted because sometimes you need more than one knife at a time or you don't want to use a chef's knife and so this will be a nice all-purpose tool for me. And, you know, they have different ranges and different styles. I just got this because it was available on Amazon at a price I could add to my gift card. Um, these are very, very sharp knives. Um, I remember when I was buying knives, the chef's knife I bought, there was a, a, like a demonstration on YouTube of someone putting the knife up like this between blocks and dropping a tomato onto it, and the tomato just like sheathed in half. Um, very, very sharp. But anyway, that's item one. Probably use that tonight when I'm cooking dinner. Um, item two, also not watch related, and then we'll move on to the watch related items. This is an Oasis Singles CD um, that I bought as a gift for a family member. Um, not really a guilty pleasure, but kind of a guilty pleasure. I just love Oasis. Um, it's like childhood love for me. So anyway, that's the other thing in the box. Don't need to talk about that too much. 
Got some packaging materials. And then the watch related items. Now, this is a Bergeon, I don't know how to say that, I hope that's right, strap tool. Um, I thought it would come in a cardboard box, but whatever. Uh, these are Swiss made, really high quality strap tools. Um, well, actually, they make all sorts of watch tools, screwdrivers, and stuff as well. Um, and they're considered the like, industry standard, the best in the business. I have a Chinese strap tool around here somewhere. It was the first one that I bought, um, you know, stupidly not listening to the people who said that these were worth the pretty significant price difference. And I've already broken two different ends on the Chinese tool and bent the hell out of it. And so I thought, okay, I'll buy a quality tool instead. Maybe I'll do another video on this, show you how it's used. You can see one end is essentially just a pen, um, especially you know for the, the drilled, drilled lugs. Uh, it unscrews, and you could replace it with a different um, attachment. This doesn't come with any extras, but you can buy them. And then the other end. Sorry, it's not screwed in all the way. The other end is the fork. Um, and see, on, on the cheap tools, the metal is of much lower quality. And what happens is, one of two things I found, either the fork itself gets all stripped and loses its shape, and so you can't really grip the spring bars, especially in really tight spaces, or from all the sort of like levering and maneuvering, the fork will actually bend up or down and become totally useless. Um, I can tell you just from feeling it, this is a much higher quality metal. Um, and I'm hoping that it won't give me the same problems. You know, I expect I might have to replace the ends at some point. Um, but until then, it should be much, much better than the previous tool that I had. I might do a video in the future um, comparing them and then talking about how to use strap tools. But I feel like it's kind of been done. Um, if you're interested in that, let me know. And then finally, the last item, something that I should have gotten as soon as I started making watch videos. Wow, really nicely packaged. This is from Marathon Watch Company. Um, you can see what it is, but there's a little bit of advertising in here about the bracelets that they make um, with their engravings for the different uh, militaries that they provide. Um, I think there's a review on TGV's channel of one of these. They looked like really high quality. I just don't have any need for any of them. And then, let's see, leather natos that Marathon makes as well. Nylon and vulcanized rubber straps. Everything I've heard about Marathon is that their products are exceptional. Um, so if you're looking for any of these items, definitely go ahead and check them out. But what I got was a set of calipers. Um, I've been selling a few watches on eBay, I've been making watch videos, and I have no way of measuring any of them. And especially if you buy and sell and flip vintage pieces, a lot of times the measurements that people give you are wrong, um, or just they don't exist at all. And so it's useful to actually know the measurements. Um, I'm really shocked by the packaging this comes in, just to really beautifully packaged product. Um, I kind of expected it to just be thrown in the box, to be honest. Um, it's nice to see the care and attention that they give even their accessories and tools. You open it up, and it's this case. Um, the top has instructions in it. Uh, operation and care manual from Marathon, as you can see, in Ontario, Canada. I mean, I think most people can figure out how to operate these without the, the tools, but if you want the real specific details, uh, especially if you're doing anything kind of more fine and detailed, this might be very useful. Uh, the packaging is nicely padded with foam here. Um, please ensure that the slider clamping screw is loosened before moving the slider. That's good advice. I'm going to leave that in there for now. It comes with a battery. I don't know if this is an extra battery or the battery I need for it. We'll find out in just a second. 
And then in this nice, uh, again, padded, like, cutout shell. It's almost like a really cheap gun case. But for calipers, I think it's pretty nice. So this is the thing that it's saying, please ensure that the screw is undone. Stainless steel hardened, which means that if you're going to use it on metal watches, you should tape it and keep it sort of padded. All right, it looks like I do need to put in the battery. I'm going to pause the video for a second, put in the battery, uh, grab a watch, and come back and do a few measurements for you just to sort of test it out. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back with a watch, my little Vostok, um, which as you can see I have not <laughs> worn in a while. But I'm back with my little Vostok and the calipers. They have a battery. They're zeroed. Um, I realize I don't have any scotch tape on me at the moment, which is unfortunate. Um, so obviously I'm going to measure an inexpensive watch that I have no plans of selling. It's my own watch, so, you know, deal with it. Too bad. Don't do this to someone else's watch, though. These are very hard steel calipers. Um, so you can see the Vostok Amphibia, I believe 420059 or something like that. 39 millimeter case. Um, how thick is it? Sorry, I'm not very good at doing this on camera yet. Fifteen millimeters thick. Lug to lug. just under 46 millimeters and the lug width is 18 millimeters so once I find some tape and I can do this to my watches as I'm making videos this tool will be very very useful I really like the digital calipers because I'm lazy and don't have to read them that way numbers have never been my strong point um, this is nice too. I mean, you can use this for a lot beyond just watches. You can change from millimeter to inch. You can zero it with tape on it, or if you wanted to start from some different amount, obviously. Um, yeah, it's it's beautiful. It's really nicely packaged. You know, um, obviously Marathon is a watch company. Unfortunately, none of their watches really fit my like vibe or lifestyle that well. I'd love to review more of their products, um, but I'm not going to spend $900 on a watch that I just wouldn't wear very often, um, despite how wonderful they are. Um, but Marathon, if you're out there listening, if you want to send anything my way, I would love to look at it. Um, I just can't really afford to be buying things just for fun at the moment. Um, anyway, that's my quick unboxing for today of a couple not watch-related items and the strap tool and the calipers. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I've got a new inexpensive watch review coming, and I'm going to give you guys some videos about my watch goals and some watch, um, sort of watch crushes, I suppose, that I have at the moment. Until then, leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.